Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Eden Duale has come out to say that military is no longer going to be centralized. Is going to be decentralized. What do I mean when I say centralized and decentralized? Centralized is where military is being controlled at one point, and that is national government. But decentralizing military is in a way of ensuring that every county is having their own military. That is whatever Eden Duale is coming out to say that that is the new plan that they have in military after Stephen Ogola was sworn in the other day as the new chief defense force. When I saw this news, this news has created a lot of conversation among Kenyans. As some are agreeing, are coming out to accept the decision by the Kenyan government to devolve military across the Republic of Kenya. Some are coming out to say that that is a bad idea to come out to decentralize a military across the Republic of Kenya per counties as there are a lot of repercussions that is waiting the national government. So because of that news, I want us to have at least a critical analysis why it is good to decentralize the military and again, why it is a bad idea to decentralize the military across the Republic of Kenya as per the counties. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are a visitor for the first time or you may be, you've been watching this channel for a long period of time, but you've not made your mind to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to like this video, you share, and you give your opinion at the comment section below. Number one, reason why it is bad to decentralize military. Upon that number one, I want us to look at A, possibility of military coup. Is there any possibility of military that has been devolved in Nairobi? Muranga, Mombasa, Kilifi, and other counties might come out in disagreement. And if truly this, there is a possibility of disagreement among this military in different counties, is there any possibility of coup? And if it is there, why not during or when they are now centralized? The possibility of military coup, national, uh, the way they have been centralized, and military coup after they're being decentralized or devolved in different counties. Nigani inawezekana sana because wakati wana kontroliwa uko juu kwa mtu mmoja is there any possibility of them disagreeing and having coup when at the same time disagreeing with the government Or is there any possibility of them adopting whatever has been there when it comes to police? Where you find that there is the head of police in... For example, we have a county commander. Like in Nairobi, we have Bungi and other parts of the counties. Are they going 
possibly and easily to adopt such because if you are knowledgeable you can give your opinion at the comment section below because that is something that people are worried of number two what about the leadership of this military inaenda kubaki kwamba yes i know William Ruto is going to be still the chief commander. But upon this destabilize uh, upon this uh, uh, decentralization of military is there any repercussions for example like uh, when this military their work mainly is to protect the borders. Their mainly work is to protect borders so now their main role now is going to be based in county levels is there any possibility of military adopting a such a handwork togetherness between them and police because i remember during the bandit bandit fight not it william ruto came out ordering the military to join the police we saw a certain wrangle between KDF, uh, KDF and police. Is there any possibility of this being noticed in after this uh, military has been devolved? Hiyo ndio maswali tunauliza. Tunauliza si ati tunajua, tunauliza because we don't know. And what we don't know, we should not come out here to say that we know. And defense cabinet minister Eden Duari to come out to tell us that they are planning to devolve this. Is there any process that they are going to do maybe to craft the constitution on how they are going to adopt this military in counties levels? Because while he was appearing before the Senate Standing Committee on National Security, Eden Duale came out intimating that the move will be, of course, help the officers respond to swiftly to any arising security concern as the way they have been, uh, they have been centralized. Consequently, a statement by the Kenya Defense Force indicated that the plans were at an advanced stage and will be unveiled in due course. However, specific counties said to be the first beneficiaries were not revealed yet. So it is just a hint that they have come out to tell us. But further, the CS added that the government was seeking to improve military technology to prepare to handle situation similar to the no thrift operation of bandits so that is what they uh, they are telling um or rather subsequently they're telling us that now they are prepared to change on tactics on how they're going to handle security matters and issues across the republic of kenya so as the government advances the devolved plan, the CS also reiterated that it is effort to address the welfare of soldiers and their families through programs such as KDF sponsored school. <laughs> are they having it now? And what are these guarantee for them that after they being uh, they, they are going to be decentralized, then there's a possibility of them now having good life having school sponsored by the government that is whatever we are looking for so additionally we want um, to see that in any case this is going to adopt it there is no a scenario of military coup where now military is going to have different ideas and views as the way they have been centralized at the same time we are so eagerly waiting the adoption where military and police are going to work at the same station which according to me i want to say that um 
But there are certain situations and stations enye au watu wamewahi fanya kazi pamoja. But this comes after kulikuwa na vita kati ya kulikuwa na mvurutano kati ya KDF na police during the fight in North Rift uh, fighting bandits. So we are so eagerly waiting um, to see. Nevertheless, I want to say that um, through the, 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 the military, we are still facing the, the, uh, many challenges, including even the decline in budgetary allocation and encroachment of military land. So how are they going to adopt that? That is the question that we are asking. Because notably, Duale's pronouncement came amid calls for military bases uh, to be constructed in the North Rift as a move to combat banditry in the region. So as they continue to do that, we are eagerly waiting. For example, so far, we cannot judge, but judgment lies on your case. What do you think? What do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Bye-bye.